Hey, it's Crafty Kitty. I'm here to share with you a thrift store haul. Um, and I think I have one item that I have never actually shown you, but I bought a long time ago. So bear with me if I did share it with you before, but I'm just going to show you. It is this oil lamp. There's no wick in it or anything, but I just like the rustic look of it. Like the wood base and it's just very, very pretty. And it was only... Two ninety nine, or no, sorry, <laughs> four ninety nine. But I think I had a thirty percent off coupon, so I don't think it was four ninety nine at all. Um, I just really like that. I thought it was pretty cool. So I thought I'd share with you because I really don't think I did, but I've been meaning to, and I just kept forgetting. So I have all kinds of little craft stuff also from the thrift store. I got these little stippled paint brushes, which are pretty cool. We're going to use those. I actually found some sandy line stickers for Halloween. And I might be sticking some of those into friend mail. And I found the vintage um, Halloween trick-or-treat bags. They were originally 89 cents and they have them for 50 cents. But they came from Zellers, which is a store that no longer um, exists in Canada. I also got this whole big bag of um, goodies from the thrift store. It was a buck ninety-five. So I'm just gonna show you some of the things that are in there. There was these, just a, a random bunch of stickers. There's a whole bunch of stickers in here. I guess they're from Sandy Line as well. They have little bears and stuff inside the baggie. I'm not gonna take them out. Some mirrored butterflies. Some rub-ons. American Girl doll stickers. Uh, and this little scrapbook book full of stickers from Dollarama. Uh, has a bunch of stickers in French. I don't scrapbook in French, even though I do live in a French community. These are from Dollarama. Got a whole box, a whole thing of stickers from Dollarama as well for borders, alphabets. There was one princess stickers in there, a big banner sticker says together, various stickers there for letters, these ones, some of these were partially used, they're photo corners, there was a French sticker, French stamps, all to do with kitty cats, there was this pretty cool looking mixture of things, I love these, these were too cute, the hamster dancer. And there was a pad full of stickers, which I really, really like these. I don't ever recall seeing these, but they look like they were at the buck or two. And then there was these from Kane Company. And there is another one that says Kissing You. Just some stickers. Uh, one of the good finds in here were these blings. Partially used alphabet stickers. Again, a lot of these were just used stickers. So they're not really anything in particular. A couple of more banner stickers. Valentine's Day. This one says vacation. This one says forever. Some more Valentine's Day ones. Some sticker, alphabet sticker ones. And then there's these ones which are adhesive vellum ones. It says stop worrying about the potholes and enjoy the in, in the road and enjoy the journey. I really really like these so I can't wait to use those. Those are all the little things. Oh and there were some um, Christmas ones as well. So I'm just gonna put this all back inside here so that I don't have a big mess on my table. two and these I'm as well. okay so that was all the crafty stuff I believe I looked in the ooh that made quite a noise <laughs> so I have that uh, oh there's a bit more crafty stuff I found this awesome ribbon very vintagey they were 75 cents 
I found this awesome lantern. I think it was from Dollar Rama or something. I'm not sure. I have to put batteries in it, I guess, to see if it works. It says it functions. Oh, once again, it has the little um, screw in there. This was two fifty, but it says Paris Eiffel Tower. I thought it was pretty cool. It's just plastic. I found some ribbons and laces and stuff. Seventy-five cents. I got a really cute little hat that I'm going to use in a DIY. And the only other thing I found crafty were these awesome wood buttons, which I have a plan for them as well. So just gonna grab back this thing and put these in there, just because it would be easier. Really love that ribbon. I don't have one set style of stuff that I like. I like vintage. I like. I've got a very eclectic style as to what I like. Um, some people don't like the way I decorate, but that's fine. I just take all the things out. I found a whole little bin of strawberries for seventy-five cents. Coming handy for the summertime. I found this awesome ceramic pumpkin. He does say two dollars, but he was only a dollar. Because everything in this thrift store, they price it up and then say, oh, it's 50% off. <laughs> I just think it's funny. I got this, which was from Michael's originally. It was $12.99. I got it for $1.50. It's just a coffin that I'm going to use to decorate with. Can't wait for that. Um, I found this crazy looking pumpkin wreath. I, th I thought it was so cool. It does supposed to light up, but I don't know if it will or not. But even if it doesn't, I mean, look at the faces on there. Those are too cool. So, I got that. And then I found an actual half a pumpkin from Michael's. This puppy was originally $12.99. I got it for $1.95. Sometimes you can hit score. You can score really good prices in my thrift stores. And some days you just sit there and you go, hmm. I can wait for it to go on sale at the store <laughs> and get it for cheaper. I found these two wood signs, which are not going to stay. They're in French. Um, I'm not quite sure what they say, but they were $2.95 each. And as you can see, they still have the plastic corners on. I'm just going to paint over the wording here, sand it off a little bit, and then put something else on there instead that I like. We can buy the the things from the dollar store, the, the little um, boards, but they're not as big. I think one of my favorite finds, though, and my cookies are done, <laughs> was this. This mercury glass, as you can see, $27.95. I got it for $2.95 at the thrift store. At first, I thought it was plastic, and then when I got closer, it is mercury glass. And I love this. i to be very careful with mercury glass because it does like to break very easily. And I have a nasty habit of breaking things before I actually get them into the house. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I had to rewrap it too because the lady she puts one great big, one little piece of, of, uh, newspaper on I thought that would be sufficient no it is not sufficient and I found me a black plug-in checker lantern which I really like it was only a dollar 95 so that was a pretty good deal for that I found this whole bag of well it's gourds and pumpkins and stuff and I only paid a dollar 95 for it as you can hear it does have some little ringy leanings in here I could hear in my car the entire time it was driving me crazy every time I stopped somewhere. All I hear was ring, 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 ring. And uh, I was kind of tired of that sound. Found me some yellow bags for 50 cents. And then I found these. These are glass. And they were 95 cents. I'm just going to open this really quick. I think my cookies are burning. This is a cute puzzle that you put back together to make uh, there you go. a sunflower. 
And these are plastic, a hard plastic. I'm going to put you on pause. I got to get my cookies out of the oven. Okay, back. Here it is. Here's the... You saw this in... You might have saw this in my Hocus Pocus Challenge, uh, Part 3, The Tablescape. I bought this to use as a witch's potion bottle. I will do a little bit of a DIY to spruce it up a bit. It was 95 cents. Came with a little cork topper. I love it. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, the other thing you might have saw in my Hocus Pocus challenge was this guy. So cute with the big witch's boots and everything on it. And the heels look like candy corn. Cute little face. I have to put another piece of bling right here because it fell off. I didn't. I don't think it was there when I got it. This little guy, if you can believe it, $2.50. I thought that was too cute. Couldn't leave him because he matched perfectly for my Hocus Pocus challenge tablescape. The other things I found were these pumpkins. I'm not sure if they're actually bowls you can eat soup in or not because I can't seem to figure it out. This one does come from a store that I'm pretty sure you could probably... Um, Put soup in it. It was they mar it was originally four ninety nine. They marked it at three dollars, and because their prices are always fifty percent off, it was a dollar fifty for that one. The other one I got was this one. They don't match the ones that I found from uh, Value Village uh, last year. They they're a little bit darker and a little bit bigger. But I found this one as well. This one is made in China. I'm not sure again if you can eat out of it. Could just be a candy dish. It was also only $1.50. And I just love it. I just think these are so cool. It has a bit of a chip over here, but I think I could probably fix that out. So just gotta get the lid back on. There we go. So that was everything from my thrift store hauls. Um, I hope you like it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell so that you know when I will be uploading a video. I also have a video that should have been done and uploaded yesterday, which I did not get a chance to do. Um, but that will be coming up hopefully today sometime. Stay tuned for it. Uh, it will be a fall tablescape uh, challenge that I joined with shells with Shell's Home Decor, I think it is. Oh, I have to go look that one up because I can't remember. But, um, yes. So if you like it, thumbs up. Don't forget to um, subscribe, like, and share if you want to. And let's all get crafty. Bye-bye.